So in this video, I'm just going to show how to import the JavaFX template that uh, we created into your Eclipse so that you can start developing your applications, your JavaFX applications in Eclipse with uh, Gradle. Uh, I linked the code that we used in the lecture here uh, on Moodle, but you will see on based on the link that it actually points to a repository on GitHub. Uh, so you can either download the zip file, which will include the main code and everything from Moodle, or uh, you simply go to this template here. Uh, you can also say download zip file here. Uh, let's download this. Well, I already did, but yeah. Um, then we go to our Eclipse. Now, I also added uh, the project files for Eclipse. So you should be able to just uh, import it as a normal Eclipse project. Um, if you're using any other IDE, you should import it as a Gradle project. We could also unzip it and import it as a Gradle project in Eclipse, but uh, let's try to see whether we can also uh, import it as a normal project like you always did with, um, with your partner in the exercises. So we're just going to say import projects, uh, existing projects into workspace, then we're going to point it to the archive file that we just downloaded. And it detects that there is an Eclipse project inside. So let's just say finish. It should then, uh, we see here that it also says uh, synchronize Gradle projects in workspace. So now it will try to build the Gradle project for the first time. So it will automatically see it's an Eclipse project, but it also has Gradle stuff inside. Now, um, if you just try to run the main file uh, normally through Eclipse, as you usually do, Java run as um, Java application, you will see that uh, it, it complains about missing JavaFX uh, runtime components. So what we're going to do is we have to start it through Gradle um, and Right now, uh, we are missing the view that will allow us to start the Gradle tasks. So we can go to uh, Window uh, and then Show View. Other, then let's look for Gradle. Uh, Gradle Tasks is the one we're looking for. We want to see what tasks are defined in this Gradle file. And if we unfold this, we will see there is an application run task. So that's the one. If we run this, then it's going to run our main application. And here it is. It runs this Java FX application. So uh, it creates those two labels, creates the scene. And um, this is always our starting point. So as we saw in the lectures, we will put the code here in the start method and then just set the scene for JavaFX to display. So if you want to do um, some things like uh, maybe have alternative versions here, let's copy maybe the application, have another class, app2, where we are actually um, yeah, saying something different. Hello world, um, just so that it looks a little bit different. Um, now you can't directly execute this app too. Um, if we go to Gradle tasks and say run, it will always execute the app class. Uh, and the reason for that is that in the build Gradle, that class is configured as the main class. So if you want to change your main class if the one that you want to execute via Gradle tasks application run should be another class then you simply change the name of the main class here in your uh, build.gradle file so let's change it to app2 uh, the name of the class is basically the package that it lies in so here uh, this package and then dot uh, app2 the name of the class so now this should automatically 
update the tasks. If we say run now, it's going to run uh, app two instead of app. So this way you could have, could experiment with multiple apps in the same um, project. Um, so now let's say you um, want to change the name of the project then normally in Eclipse, you just say here, um, you right click on the project and you say refactor rename. And maybe we want to call it JavaFX, uh, I don't know, my app. Then it's going to give us lots of troubles because there are multiple or there are two places where the name of the project uh, in Eclipse has a makes a difference. There's also a name of the project defined in the settings.gradle and you need to update that to the same name that we just gave the project. So if we want to rename the project, we need to rename it kind of twice. Um, so we need to put the same name here in the settings gradle and then we need to um, tell Eclipse that it should try to refresh the configuration from the Gradle files. So we right click on the project, say Gradle, refresh Gradle project. Then everything should compile again. Uh, let's just check what was the main class that we're using, the app two. So now let's find the Gradle tasks. Uh, here, we might also have to refresh tasks for our projects. That's this button here. Uh, now we see that it loaded everything new and we say run. So this happens when you want to change the project name. I'm guessing that this, maybe you do this very early in the beginning uh, to change the project name. So you first try to change the name in Eclipse. In addition, you change it in the settings.gradle and then you need to tell Eclipse to refresh. Uh, and then you need to also refresh the Gradle tasks. There are other cases when you might want to change the Gradle uh, configuration. So if you want to use some libraries, additional ones to the ones that we're already using here, then usually you define them as Gradle dependencies in the build.gradle file. In the build.gradle file, there is this dependencies block and there you can add dependencies like um, Apache Commons CSV for reading and writing CSV files. If you copy one of those lines from some documentation, for example, this tutorial here, they will tell you the thing you need to put in your Gradle, the dependency is this, then you put it here. And then you also need to tell Eclipse that it should refresh the Gradle project. So that's the same thing as changing something in the settings Gradle or in the build of Gradle. It's always better to tell Eclipse, uh, right click on the project, say Gradle, refresh Gradle project, so that it loads the latest uh, information from the build configuration. Adding dependencies will not change the available tasks, so everything should still be fine in your task view.